So I'm out here scooping up some of this stuff so that I got something to put in the bucket. Um, up here in Alaska, it gets really, really cold and the mosquitoes are bad. So we use a luggable loo system. I'll uh, show you a little bit more about that later. I don't, most of you probably know what it is. Today we'll be milling, but first I have to collect my, 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 uh, my toiletries stuff here. Uh, this is wet. It's not good, but I still got to get it out of the way and manage it. And it's a good idea in practice to clean up your milling station anyway. We've had a lot of rain here the last couple of weeks. So, and these, these, uh, these things here don't go down far enough. You let this inside area here fill up the sawdust. So we scrape it up for the use I just said. I do a whole video on that. I believe a lot of people already have, but I'll make a video for us to show you how we do it. Uh, I watched, I used to have a normal life, I'd sit on the couch and watch. I uh, watched uh, Doug and Stacy Osprey come up with a plan on how they manage their uh, number one and number two. And it's worked for them. I'm going to have a garden, so I'll just do it that way. It's easier than devising or reinventing the wheel, right? So I thank them for that, most definitely. Hope he's all right from his family. I don't even know the man. Never met him. Seems like a good guy. Right there in Missouri somewhere. You should look him up. Anyway, today we are going to run some logs. I thought I'd be interested to tell the guy who doesn't know, not the guy that does know, or not the guy that does have a tractor, or not I'm talking to the guy who doesn't know, or the, the prospective person who wants to do this. Uh, you don't have to have a tractor. The mills are expensive enough. How are you going to fill or afford a mill and a tractor? That's a very large investment. We use a Polaris 400cc with a winch on it and manpower. Some of these logs weigh about 600 to 1,000 pounds. They're, ten, they're, as, they're as big as the rack. The rack is 10 foot 5 is what they say, but you can't cut a 10 foot 5 board on this. It won't come out the other end. Um, you cut them about 10 foot 3, 10 foot 2. So how we load them, how we turn our logs, how we spin them, and how we pull them. Uh, we do all that with a 400cc ATV and independent suspension. It crawls through the woods like you wouldn't believe. I could never get a tractor through there anyway. Maybe one day we, we will have the money for a tractor, but right now we don't. So I got to do what I got to do with what I got. Well, we're going to go ahead and show you that. And... Uh, talk a little bit more for the guy who wants to hear it doesn't have a tractor we don't want to discount him he wants to do something too right we chain up our we chain up our log like that right there right so we just run that on that's a 10 foot spruce uh, most of it's going to be all right. Some of it doesn't look so good. Don't be afraid of that now. I mean, these ain't all, it ain't all green wood. Uh, we have a lot of fallen dead, standing dead up here. It's called beetle kill. Now the structural integrity of those trees are completely unknown. I mean, they haven't been kiln dried and tested and all that other stuff like that. But once you start sinking nails into your lumber and building a house, that you're gonna put your family in, you're gonna start using some real good common sense. It's like nail didn't go into that one good enough. How am I gonna test this? I love everything inside of this house. I don't want it to fall down. So, see a lot of chunks blown out of that. This is a uh, video of where we are here. There's lots of fall off, it creates that there. Sprucer in decline, there's one. Mostly birch, 
But those hardwoods, man, you seen, I don't know if you've seen the other videos, but some of them are hollow. There's one right there. They rot out in the center. There's one right there. There's some other ones out there. There's some green birch. Those aren't rotten, but they're still green. I don't want to build with green wood just yet. I don't have to, is what I'm saying. I don't have to build with green wood. I ain't been here long enough to season up all this wood. But it will be seasoned, and it will be stacked in a lumber yard. That takes time. I'm trying to beat the snow. I got termination dust on that mountain. So we pull them about 10, 15 at a time. And uh, some of them are really nice, good looking pulls, like this here. This is a good looking pull. Just ain't really long enough or big enough to do too much dimensional lumber with. But man, it sounds good. Something we can use. But the spruce are in decline. They're being overtaken by the birch. That one is split right there. See the split in that? How it's folded around? It's probably rotten in the center. Up here in Alaska, we got something called sphagnum, the ground. It's virgin timber up here. That's why you see so many tall, straight trees. This is virgin timber. I don't know if you can tell. See how tall that is? That's all tall, straight trees. Probably about 80 feet. People build green wood all the time. As long as they sheep before winter, it'll be all right. Look at all the mushrooms in there. I'd like to eat them. I just don't, I don't know what they are yet. I mean, I can't identify everything in the book. That's a hollow tree, you know that? Those edible? Oh, no, no, that doesn't look edible. Yeah, it is edible, but not now, not in this stage. It's already got the uh, inside of it's dusty. But when you get them, when they're young like that, don't breathe you that stuff in. There. What they're is white. that? They're like solid, well, almost like cream cheese. Really? Yeah. When you cut into them, when they're when they're uh, immature like that. Uh, what are these here? I don't know. I haven't seen those in the book. A lot of good mushrooms. Yeah. That's another fungus right there, but I'm not sure exactly what that gelatin looking. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, bunch of them. Though. So we're going to set up in real time, not time lapse, so that you can see us do this. And I'm going to talk you through it. I'm talking to the guy that wants to know how to do this, not the guy who already knows how to do this. He's probably out doing something already. The guy who doesn't think it's possible with an ATV or a tractor or a major investment. I'm not willing to give up my dream because of that. So I'm gonna work with what I got. And I gotten pretty good at it. I'm milling some lumber. So today we're gonna to show you how we do that. field couldn't give them away loved them too much so we kept them that's been years so now there are babies and they're right buku some of the best dogs I ever had fetch carry my ducks anywhere I want them to carry
We got a we got a big bar. We got this big bar right here. Probably weighs about 15, 20 pounds. It's made out of cast steel. It's worth its weight in gold doing this kind of work here. Watch us work this log. A lot of work. Lumber ain't cheap. Anyway, you slice the pot. forward and pull out first. I didn't just lift that, he was pushing down on the other end pretty high too. This is about a six inch pound log. called log dogs is what he's tightening on right now. I have to adjust the head space on these. Log dogs is what you see us adjusting that right now. And it holds a see, holds the log in place. Was it rotten? No, it's just not biting. It won't won't grab it like I need it to. It's loose like that. That's that's not a good bite. It won't bite. Well, let me work with the other end. I just got to put the camera down. Make these kind of cuts. This is the stuff that I'm talking about when you're dealing with uh, lumber that's not kiln dried or anything like that. I'm working with something that's got some bad spots in it for show. But we're going to use that common sense today, and we ain't going to call it all bad because look what Corey's touching. That's good hard spruce. That's good. There. That is good hard spruce. It's good stuff. Now the center of this is what I'm after anyway. 
So we're going to turn this log. I just wanted to show you for the people that don't know, not for the people that do know. The people that need to know, the people that want to know. This ain't all bad. And if it is, maybe I wasted a little bit of time, but did I really? I didn't have to cut this tree or fail this tree. I had to bucket and pull it. That's it. Now, the one problem I got with this Woodlander HM130 Max, it cuts like a beast. It's got a 420 cc motor on it. But the spring is coming off the rock. You see that? It really makes it difficult because it controls lubrication for the blade and the restore throttle response. So I'm taking a 45 AC. show the mountain but I don't think I can see through the uh, trees yeah 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 but yeah it, yeah it's definitely snow up on that mountain termination dust on that mountain
equation starting to change now. See that good look at it? See that? A lot of good board feet on that. Some bad spots, not everything's going to be good, but it gets better as we cut it. We're going to have to cut that top can off of there anyway. Even sit, but look, you see the water see is saturated, it is. but it ain't it ain't caving like that. You know? But I mean, even if we got, even if we just buzz that off, yeah. all, uh, compost that, and use the rest of this, we still got eight foot boards. Yeah. We didn't have to go out and cut down a tree. This tree was already down. You know? We bucked it, pulled it, and sawed it. And now we're gonna build a roof out of it, or whatever else we need to build out of it. It's a pretty good size. It's a birch log. We would not have manhandled yes, that like that. <laughs> that log would have manhandled us. <laughs> What I got here is uh, a shiv. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shank this board up real good. Make sure it's hard. So, see this? See that? See what I'm doing? With a screwdriver, you ain't got to use this here shank. See that? Now we're getting into some areas of how I test it. Look at that. You don't want that. That part of the log is no good. I still got a lot of good usable timber, and with the prices today, this is not a mistake to saw this board. See that right there? That ain't no good, man. That shank went way too deep in that wood. It won't hold a nail. It won't hold no structural. Now, like I said, the structural integrity is out to out to lunch on this. I don't know it for sure, but I'm saying that this right here, that's good. That's good spruce. Oh, 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 oh,